This vehicle is the Phoenix Midi Alcoven van. Midi Alcoven, well, Alcove is a cab over in German. And this is the cheapest van that Phoenix do. Despite that, it still costs 151,000 euros. Have a look at the size of the garage. Well, that's pretty impressive. You can get quite a lot in that. Now, the vehicle itself would be on a basis of 5.2 tons, which would give it a payload in excess of uh, 1.1 tons so that's uh, pretty good they've got the price there and let's have a look inside now this is very similar in layout to vehicles we've seen before such as the dual media uh, dual mobile i should say layout which is used by the erwin humer group and for example death lefts have their grand alpha which has a layout like this you've got a living space here at the back it's a van for two people, and down there, you've got your sleeping accommodation. But there's plenty of room here at the back. Now, this van doesn't have any of the extra features that you'd see in other Phoenix uh, models. For example, it's uh, got a standard toilet rather than a ceramic one. It hasn't got sort of the, uh, the, 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 met uh, the uh, stone finish. It's got a metal tight finish but all the same I mean it is uh, it, it's very elegant and uh, elegance you'd expect for 151,000 euros some of the others though are much more expensive than this uh, as you can see it is on a double floor uh, it built into the double floor down here we've got the here's the fresh water tank there's the waste water tank and what else have we got we've got a fridge We've got plenty of uh, space there to do your prep on. I mean, that, that's enormous. You don't even have to now to sit at the table to do it. And maybe such an elegant table, you wouldn't really want to be doing it there. You've got a domestic-sized sink. And it's in, in a vehicle which is, what, so under 8 metres in length. And we've got here, you've got three burner hobs relatively standard of course but it's a uh, um, it's good Thetford equipment down here nice forks and spoons down here all the sort of stuff you'd keep under a uh, sink probably put your, um, your rubbish bin in there I would imagine uh, and space there yeah, maybe food pans other things, elegant set chest of drawers next to the seats at the back, and here we've got an enormous uh, wardrobe with, I would point out as well, the electrics. So you've, you can see you've got your fuses there with an explanation of what it is, such as the bathroom, uh, the night light, uh, the room light, etc. And you've got up there the fuse box, so it's easy. And obviously the drawers come in and out, and you can put them in other, uh, the other places. Not the drawers, the uh, shelves, I should say. And you can put them in other places should you so require. You've got a mirror there as well. There you are, there's me. And we have got down here the bathroom. So there's the, the toilet. And there is really a huge amount of space in here. As we close this door, for example, we've got another mirror. I can't close the door because it's uh, been placed in that position. Uh, probably a good reason for that. Uh, we are at the trade fair and uh, they maybe they want to show it off to its best. Right, in here we've got the shower. It's certainly, once more, it's a domestic sized shower. We've got the sleeping accommodation up here and we've got the driving position here so you can see it's on an Iveco it's a semi-automatic gearbox and there's going to be an announcement by the trade fair coming up now welcoming people because it's 10 o'clock and that's the time when the public come in so well, I'm going to speak over this lady down here we've got a bit of storage a bit up here but how do you get into the bed now that is the big question do you want to go up in a ladder 
Well, you can do that if you want. Alternatively, you can use the steps which come in and out like that. Sometimes people uh, don't want the, the steps like that and they have extra storage there plus a ladder, but that's a, I think I've got off my steps. Uh, you can see there's plenty of space uh, in the sleeping accommodation. These places can get very stuffy on the, the cab over, but you know here there's plenty of uh, room for air to circulate. You've got windows at both sides and the skylight at the top. Plenty of storage also around the toilet. So, it's a nice van. It's uh, Although it's the cheapest they do, it is of course 151,000 euros, so it's a fair whack of cash.